All cosmic codes are imprinted and organized by direct transfer from the nighttime dimension to the first time dimension, from the seventh to the first mental sphere. Through the medium of the fifth mental sphere, cosmic creation codes descend from fourth dimensional preconscious to third dimensional subconscious and become the domain of cosmic synchronization. Through the medium of the eighth time dimension of the fifth dimensional being, harmonic command formulates synchronic codes into principles of cosmic cube, waking conscious mediumship, third mental sphere, third dimensional body. Synchronic codes are the principles of embodying the cosmic cube. Cosmic cube embodies knowledge of the 18 dimensions. Through the subliminal consciousness of the sixth mental sphere, the third dimensional body ascends to fourth dimensional functioning. The third dimensional body is then fulfilled as a fourth dimensional transformer and attains the fourth mental sphere, continuing consciousness and cosmic ascension of higher mind control. The fourth mental sphere receives cosmic creation codes via the seventh time dimension. Through studying this process, we open to galactic reality by learning to identify the three bodies as one whole within the structure of the 441 matrix. The lower portion of the physical body of temple is purely third dimensional, located in the root chakra. From this point the codes of creation manifest. The upper portion of the etheric body of destiny is purely fourth dimensional located in the crown chakra, the pure fifth dimensional heart chakra of the fifth dimensional electronic rainbow body of radiance is located in the 441 inner core time. The lattice structures are operated by fifth dimensional entity who maintains command and control through the mystic 11 axis. This is why the fifth dimensional structure goes all the way up and down the vertical and horizontal axis. It is radioplasmatic and electric. We seek to integrate these structures and open the seven heptad gates. The fifth dimensional being is purely radial. It expands vertically and horizontally through the entire matrix and penetrates into the third and fourth dimensional bodies. The third dimensional body of temple contains the blue door energetic line of force, outer negative. The fourth dimensional body of destiny contains the red Kuali line of force, inner positive. These two forces are the root of the atomic galactic spin effect as described in the Cosmic History Chronicles Volume 2. In the fourth dimensional body, the red Kuali force field right-handed time, activates the radiant heart of destiny governed by the superconscious fifth mental sphere. This is the superconscious paranormal capacitor that operates between the first and second mental spheres. The codes of creation are meditated by the fifth mental sphere, which makes them paranormal capacitors that are coded into the synchronic order and organized in the subconscious realm of the second mental sphere. This is the function of the fourth dimensional body. In the third dimensional body, the blue dwarf force field, left-handed time, subliminally activates the rainbow body of radiance. The subliminal sixth mental sphere forms the radiant heart of the temple that extends into the heart of the physical body. This sixth mental sphere is the parallel universe attractor receiving impressions, codes and potentialities necessary for establishing the new galactic order. Cosmic science tells us that the amplitude or breadth of the mental ratio is obtained by special practices such as telepathy, 
profound meditation and displacement. These attributes along with the cultivation of time travel are the main theme of the law of time. This is where the 441 cube matrix system or synchronotron comes into play. In order to activate your three bodies, first locate your personal base matrix unit, BMU, and then plug it into the template of the three bodies. Which of the three bodies are you located in? Which time dimension? Which chakra? Which of the three planes? Your personal BMU is your reference point and base of operation for whole body time transport. This is also your entry point into the integration of the three bodies. To find your BMU, see Appendix 2. Between the third and fourth dimensional bodies is the rainbow body of radiance. The seventh mental sphere holomind perceiver governs all three time dimensions of the fifth dimensional body. 7, 8, and 9. 7 plus 8 plus 9 equals 24, the number of radiance, and twice the number of the body of the temple, 12. The seventh mental sphere has three loci, or points of organization held together by its central unit 441. The essential function of the holomind perceiver is the radiosonic radialization of consciousness. Through study of the 441 matrix, our sense perceptions and mental functions become radialized. This leads to experiences of panoramic awareness and ultimately synesthetic radiosonics. As we radialize our senses, we become conduits of radioplasmatic energy that flows out of our bodies and senses. This is pure radiance, the attainment of the rainbow body. When some masters leave their physical bodies, consciousness is transferred and the shell simply dissolves, leaving only a rainbow body. This is because they have aligned all three bodies and there is no discrepancy. Other than the main focus at the center of the 441, there are two other locus points. One is located above or at the center of the seventh time dimension. This is the locus of the Holomine perceiver and the Kashic records of the omnigalactic core. The fifth dimensional self has three higher centers located in the ninth, eighth, and seventh time dimensions. 1. The Ninth Time Dimension Universal Cosmic Core This is the central holomind perceiver radio tuning, transmitter and receiver station, the streaming source of all the 441 codes. It is also the point of radiosonic radialization of consciousness located between the seventh and eighth time dimensions. This is also known as the master storage base of the Akashic Book of Clear Records the omnigalactic core of the GM-108X frequency. 2. The eighth time dimension, universal core of harmonic codes. This dimension is home to the Arcturus force field holomine perceiver, located between the cosmic synchronization and cosmic cube outer time dimensions. This dimension is aligned with the gravitational plane and is translated into codes of art and ceremonial magic. Working in tandem with the cosmic cube, it becomes the second creation. 3. The seventh time dimension, upper radial time. This dimension houses the GM-108X force field and is the center for the radiosonic radialization of consciousness. Located between the cosmic creation and cosmic ascension outer time dimensions, this is the dimension of mediumship. The sum of every code and command is housed in the fourth outer time dimension, Cosmic Cube, channeled through conscious waking mediumship. 
The Cosmic Cube channel is located in the Sirius force field. The Cosmic Cube contains the art dimension and synchronic codes organized as one flow of information and energy. This can be thought of as the Akashic Records contained within the Holomind Perceiver Codes which mediate the axis of the biopsychic plane. This is the noospheric plane. The groundwork of the Great Transformation is created within the Cosmic Cube, which allows the third dimensional body to ascend more etherically and increasingly experience the Holomind Perceiver of the Akashic Records. The core of the noosphere is in the Akashic Records of the Seventh Mental Sphere and passes through the seventh mental sphere of the fifth dimensional body and reaches the third dimensional body of temple at the cosmic ascension core. V18 H4, second time dimension, located in the Pleiades force field. All the information from the cosmic codes of creation and the Keshek records are passed into the biopsychic plane, the mainstream of the noosphere. As we know, the 13 moon calendar or sequential time is located in the four outer time dimensions. For example, special days on the calendar include one located at the base matrix unit 331 V16 H6 in the second time dimension. See graphic page 70. This is the intergalactic channel of cosmic ascension that occurs in the sixth moon, ninth day. This is when 12-21-2012 occurs. All of this can be plotted in the calendar codes and the matrix overlays as introduced in Chapter 3 and Appendix 2. Also in the central columns of the seven heptad gates 108, 291, 402, 441, 414, 315, 144, with their corresponding plasmic signs that indicate the third dimensional body of the temple and fourth dimensional body of destiny. The radial body of the fifth dimensional body of radiance spreads out over the fourth and third dimensions to facilitate evolutionary commands both subliminally and superconsciously. This provides a template you can make your own larger graphic and lay out the numbers of the day according to the 13 moon calendar date and killing number. To find these daily numbers, see Appendix 2. Each day we are working to integrate our fourth dimensional body of destiny with our third dimensional body of the temple. The more that we engage our mind in this process, the more we begin to experience the radiant glimmers of our fifth dimensional electronic body that is monitoring the whole program.